guys, it's Sierra. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to Not My Apartment because we are in LA and I am going to be eating and working out like an LA YouTuber for the next 24 hours? ish. If you are subscribed to any YouTubers who live in LA or you follow any of them on Instagram, chances are you have seen every single one of the things I'm going to be trying in this video on your feed. The trendy workouts that you always see people posting about but you can never actually try for yourself because you can only do them in LA. The perfect meals and everyone's what I eat for a day videos. The little aesthetically pleasing cafes and coffee shops with all the perfect little health foods. And we even got this Airbnb, like a penthouse in downtown Los Angeles. We are really doing it. We are committed to living the LA YouTuber life. And a big thank you to Fabletics for sponsoring this video and making it possible. I am now a Fabletics ambassador, which makes me feel so legit and I am so excited about it. I really love all their products. They are super affordable and high quality and size inclusive. I love the way they fit my curves and flatter my figure. The outfit I'm wearing right now, actually, I'll step out from the counter so that you guys can see it. This is one of my favorites from their September collection. This is the hiatus outfit. A little bit of legging action with the Mila pocket legging here and the matching Hallie cinchable half zip hoodie and both of these are in like my favorite color that like faded dusty blue look I don't know why but anything in this color I'm just all about I'll go back to my counter now <laughs> But I'm super stoked to get to work with them. I love Fabletics and I really love what they stand for. And their clothes are also just really freaking cute and flattering. I love them. So it is seven o'clock, 7.26 in LA right now. We actually just got here and the first thing that we have to do to prepare to eat and work out like an LA YouTuber is go to Whole Foods. Let's do it. Whole Foods? <laughs> Okay, we got all the groceries we need, but there's one more thing I want to get at Whole Foods, and that is this dang celery juice. Everyone and their mother in LA right now has been like talking about the, the celery juice. Every single person ahead of me was getting a celery juice because it's such a trend right now to get celery juice. And there was a huge case of celery juice and every single person was like, Anna for just plain celery? Sarah for plain celery? So I just came over to the little service counter over here. I'm pretty sure this is where you get it. A metal straw. I'm a little nervous. I uh, I like green juice, but I don't particularly like celery. And this is just straight the juice of a celery. Uh, that is not good. LA YouTubers, why? Celery has like a very a pungent taste and smell, I would say. Like I eat celery a lot, but I'll eat it with like peanut butter or something. Like, you know, that the celery taste, like you know it if you've had celery. Kind of like lingers in your throat a little bit. And the juice just like, you know, it's like that times 30. I wouldn't say it's like particularly terrible. Like I, I'm gonna drink it, but it's strong and it's uh, very celery, which in my opinion, not the best flavor of a juice. Okay, I guess it does actually have a lot of nutrients. It has potassium, calcium, vitamin K, folate. Let's see what Carly thinks. Hey Carly, tell me what you think. <laughs> it tastes exactly how you think it would. Right? Like I just put it into celery. Exactly, which... But I didn't bite anything. Yeah. <laughs> would you drink it again? Depends on the situation. Would you come to Whole Foods and be like, you know what I really want? Some cell. Yeah, me neither. Okay, so we were done at Whole Foods. The total for our groceries was $48.64. Actually, it would have been 30 cents more expensive, but apparently Whole Foods does discounts for Amazon Prime. And I have Amazon Prime, so I saved 30 cents. I don't have a Whole Foods near me, so I'm not like familiar with all of this. Also, again, making it clear I'm not actually from LA. And we have to get our parking validated to be at Whole Foods. So I left my little parking slip in the car. 
So we have to go grab it and get them to validate it. Uh, LA is so much. There's just so much to it. All right, I'm down to the bottom of my celery juice. I definitely got used to the taste. Like it's not nearly as like, overpowering as the first few sips like you get used to it and I do feel really good and like really energized very fresh you can definitely tell that it's like packed full with a bunch of nutrients you know when you can just like taste that something's healthy it makes you feel healthy that's how I feel after drinking this it's not gonna be like a daily thing for me and like I said I don't even have a Whole Foods near me but I would actually consider getting it if I'm ever at like a fresh pressed juice shop I wouldn't like go out of my way to get it but it actually makes me feel pretty good I don't mind it so every few months there seems to be some sort of new LA food trend and right now the craze is all about overnight oats. I always see YouTubers posting about their overnight oats on their Instagram story or talking about it in their vlogs and I've never tried them so I found a recipe. I got all my ingredients at Whole Foods and I'm gonna try to make these tonight and let them sit overnight <laughs> so I can have them for breakfast tomorrow. So. Let me pull up my little recipe. Mash half a banana in a bowl. Then add the rest of the wet ingredients and mix until smooth. Okay, I think peanut butter is a wet ingredient. Definitely honey, definitely almond milk, definitely Greek yogurt, definitely vanilla extract. Open like for the past 10 minutes. <laughs> nope, nope. All right, no vanilla. <laughs> Mix until smooth. See, the thing about when I did the Kim Kardashian video is like there's zero chance Kim Kardashian would be mixing her own overnight oats. But for most of these LA YouTubers, like they probably are. Like they don't have private chefs, they probably have like assistants, but they're probably mixing their own overnight oats. So one cup of rolled oats, which again, I'm just gonna use my coffee cup. One tablespoon of chia seeds. And one teaspoon of cinnamon. I feel like I'm a cooking channel now. Like Rosanna Pancino who? <laughs> Gordon Ramsay who? <laughs> and then once dry ingredients are added, mix again. They're mixed together. The last step is to leave in the refrigerator overnight. They smell peanut buttery, a little bit of cinnamon in there. I'm gonna place them in the, I almost said place them in the oven. <laughs> I'm gonna place them in the refrigerator, head to bed, and then we have an early start to our LA YouTuber day tomorrow. Do you like my fully stocked fridge? <laughs> Good morning, guys. It is about nine o'clock. I let myself sleep in. I had a great night of sleep because you know what? YouTubers make their own schedule. So unlike the Kim Kardashian video where I have a million things to do in the day, I just gotta let myself wake up whenever I woke up. But let me show you this view. Let's open the curtains. Pretty cool, right? This is my bed. This is my room. And this is my view. So freaking cool. Oh my gosh. You know, LA might be the worst for like driving and traffic, but the view, the view is pretty cool. So let me show you guys what I picked out to wear today. This is from the Fabletics September collection. It is the Inspire outfit. We have the high-waisted solid power hold 7 8 leggings. And then this is the Alma tank. And I thought this was perfect for this video because look what it says, powered by Los Angeles sunshine. <laughs> Literally perfect for this video and it's super cute. I tied it into a little side knot and these the high-waisted power hold leggings These are like my holy grail of leggings like oh, they're perfect. They're completely squat proof So I am ready for any weird kind of like LA workout class any kind of movement. I'm completely covered I'll do a little stretch test here even in this lighter color in the blue Nothing. And the power hold is maximum compression, so they give me amazing support in this band right here. And they just feel great, and they're really flattering. I just love them. I can't say enough good things about these leggings. <laughs> I get a ton of DMs about like which Fabletics leggings are my favorite, and ugh, 
Oh, these are just, they're it for me. These are it. <laughs> like, look how freaking cute this is. I love it. I also get a ton of DMs about how Fabletics works. So you just go to fabletics.com and then they have a quick little style quiz that you take so that you can get personalized outfit recommendations for your lifestyle. And then once you've found all your items, you're ready to check out, you can choose to either purchase at the retail price or join as a Fabletics VIP. There are a lot of little perks to being a Fabletics VIP. So like you get up to 50% off the retail pricing, access to limited edition collections, and you can earn points towards free gear. As a VIP, you get to see the new collection every month when it drops and then decide if you wanna shop or skip every month by the fifth. And if you don't skip, you get a $49.95 credit that can be used towards future purchases. So it's basically like a Fabletics gift card that never expires. So as a Fabletics ambassador, I have a special link for you guys in the description where you can get two leggings for just $24 when you join as a VIP. Okay, wait, I thought this was the perfect outfit for today, but I actually think the stunt outfit might be a little bit better for the class that I'm doing. So let me go try that on. Okay, this like all black badass look is actually perfect for the workout class that we're doing. You'll see why when we get there. We've got the Maya Power Touch Light Twist Back Tee, the High Waisted Power Hold Leggings in black. So this outfit is perfect, but I'm gonna bring the first one with me to change into after the class, and that'll be my like athleisure look for the day. But before we go, uh, we have to try our overnight oats. <laughs> Gross. See, this is the problem with not having measuring cups. I actually thought I had put in too much milk. Like I was worried that it was gonna be too like soupy. Okay, that's starting to look better. All right, I think I'm ready to try it. Hmm. Mm-hmm. It's very peanut buttery. I think if I was gonna make my own recipe, I would use a little bit less peanut butter. I think I used the perfect amount of cinnamon. Like I can just barely taste the hint of it. It's weird because when you take the first bite, you're like, this doesn't feel like it should be cold because I'm used to eating oatmeal hot. But then because of like the almond milk and the yogurt, it's almost like, it almost tastes like frozen yogurt that's like peanut butter flavored with some texture. I'm a fan. I will say this recipe I think was way too big for just one portion for me. I am completely full and this is how much I have left and I feel like I ate a lot. So I would definitely probably use maybe like a third or a quarter of that recipe or make it this big and then just make that my breakfast for like three or four days. But yeah, it's good. I like it. I, I mean, I don't really buy into like the craze. Like it's not life changing, but it's tasty. I'd eat it again. So if I'm gonna eat and work out like an LA YouTuber, I've gotta do it right. So I got some tips from the LA queen of fitness herself, Miss Remy Ashton. Hi Sierra, I am so sorry I can't be there in LA to hang out with you and work out and to eat at my favorite places with you. I'm currently in Greece, so I can't be there, but I wish I could be. But if I have any workout recommendation for you in LA, I think I would tell you to do Rumble because it's only in LA or New York. It's a really fun boxing class and it's kind of like a club. Also, if you can take AJ's class, I highly recommend it. He's my favorite and he's like the only instructor that I take. So yeah, I highly recommend taking that and I think you will have a ton of fun. Rumble Boxing is the group fitness class that combines boxing with strength training. Its popularity in the group fitness scene has grown since it first opened its doors in 2017. So we're heading to the boxing class rumble and we got AJ as our instructor as Queen Remy recommended. See, I told you the black outfit is perfect. I'm gonna be like Rocky in there, just like pa, 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 pa. Just kidding, I've actually never boxed in my life, so it's probably gonna be a train wreck, but we're gonna give it a shot. It does say on their website, no experience necessary, so I'm really gonna put that to the test today. They might take that off their website after this. I see so many people posting like little boomerangs at Rumble with their boxing gloves on Instagram, but I actually don't have any idea what the class is like. All I know is it's a bougie boxing class and I can take a cute boomerang, so Carly's gonna do it with me. Let's go. Let's get Get ready to rumble! Okay, we got our gloves and our wraps. The wraps you have to purchase, the gloves you rent for each class. They gave us a little lowdown when they checked in. The girl was so nice. She was like, it's your first time, like don't worry, like this is for all fitness levels, like just have fun, enjoy the class, you know, don't worry about getting all the punches right, no one's looking at you, like this is a really positive space. So I feel like that kind of like quelled some of my nerves before trying this class. And also it's fun having Carly with me. We thought we weren't gonna be able to film, but they said we can film a few clips. So we will be able to show you guys a little bit of the workout. Neither of us have ever done boxing at all, so we're putting on our wraps right now. I'm not totally sure how to do it. <laughs> I feel like impossible. I just feel like bad at it. Karate! 
Yeah. Okay, we actually don't have to put on the gloves yet, but I need to get that boomerang, that that good, good LA YouTuber boomerang. So I'm gonna put these on for that and then I'll take them off again. Are we ready to rumble? These make me feel so excited also. I feel really confident. I don't know. It was like the combination of the girl at the front desk like encouraging me and then also me just feeling like a badass in my all black athletics outfit. I'm ready to go. Let's do this. I'm pumped up. Maybe because those overnight moments, maybe those gave me all this energy. We just finished. We stepped into this little back room where it's quieter. How do you feel? Tired. <laughs> yeah, me too. That was different than I expected, that but really amazing. good. Yeah. I really liked it. So I was surprised. I was. I feel like I was able to keep up with almost everything until the very end. He had us do burpees for the last 30 seconds, and I was like, I can't do it. So I held a plank for 30 seconds <laughs> instead. Was there anything you couldn't keep up with? Um, the like fast jumps. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> I think, I don't think I ever got the footwork down. I think by the end I had the hands, I mean not down, but like enough that I felt like I was keeping up, but it was the footwork that I feel like yeah. I just did not catch on to. So there were six punches that they taught us and there's like footwork that goes with all of them, but I, I just couldn't get the footwork that quickly. So I was just kind of like bouncing, but then I noticed the girl in front of us who was like really good was like, yeah, she was like pivoting and I just couldn't get that. The instructor was awesome. He was like super encouraging. He kept like, coming up to Carly and I and being like, yeah, you guys got it. Like just encouraging us, which I feel like when you're doing any sort of new group fitness class, especially in LA when things can seem like everyone looks perfect and has the perfect form, I feel like that encouragement was exactly what I needed. I definitely got a great workout. I feel like tired. I'm definitely gonna be sore tomorrow. It wasn't just boxing. It was more of like a cardio class with a little bit of boxing to it. We did abs, we did weights, we switched back and forth from the floor to the bag. So when I was signing up for the class, I literally, it was like exactly the same sign up process as Soul Cycle. Like you go on the website, you buy a class, you pick your bag. On the website, I will overlay when I screen recorded me buying the class, I thought that I was buying a bag in the back of the class. Like I thought because we were numbers 21 and 22 and they were in the back left corner, that we would be in the back. But no, one and two are at the back of the room, 21 and 22 are in the front, so we were literally the front row, which I wish I would have known that. Definitely not trying to be in the front row for my first rumble class ever. But nonetheless, I didn't feel like judged. I didn't feel like anyone was looking at me. I felt like everyone was kind of doing their own thing. I would say like less like culty and like cry than Soul Cycle. Like Soul Cycle is like, whatever you brought in with you, leave it behind as we go up this hill together. And here it was just like, come on guys, like you got it, which honestly I think I like a little bit better than Soul Cycle. Also in Soul Cycle, they give you like structured water breaks. They'll be like, okay everyone, like take a second, pick up your water. So I kept waiting for that in like the first 15 minutes of the class. But then I realized that they don't do that and it's just whenever there's a pause, everyone grabs water whenever they want to. It's kind of like, self-paced in that sense. Like you can take a break when you want to, you can grab water when you want to. So the first bit of the class, I was just like, come on, I want a water break. And then at the end, I kind of like figured it out. But that was really fun. I enjoyed it. I, I kind of do see what the hype is about. They have showers and stuff here, so I'm gonna go get cleaned up and we'll head to our next LA YouTuber stop. Of course there was a celebrity in our class. Some guy that Carly recognized from mm. the show Shameless was in our Rumble class. Welcome to LA, where everyone is either a celebrity or trying to be a celebrity. So each class is $32 and then our wraps were $8 and we get to keep those and use those whenever we come back. And then it is a $3 glove rental per time. So the total for one person was $43, but since the two of us did it, it totaled to 86. Pretty expensive for one class. And like Soul Cycle, they don't have like a membership. You just come and pay per class. You can buy like bundles and you save a couple dollars. But either way, 
it's gonna be pricey. So I'm feeling a little bit hungry. Before we have to lunch, we are actually gonna be stopping at a juicery. One of the things that you guys said every LA YouTuber does on my Instagram was getting fresh pressed juice. So I got a recommendation from the LA fitness queen herself, Miss Remy Ashton. Also after class, if you need a pick me up or a snack or something, my new favorite thing has been going to Creation, which is like a juice bar and getting the red velvet smoothie. Oh my God, it's like bananas and raspberries and it's so good. So yeah, highly recommend it. And I hope you guys have a great time. Bye, miss you. So we're gonna head over to that Creation juice shop and get a little pick me up. Okay, Creation Juicery. It took me a minute to find it because it's spelled with a K. Cool. <laughs> but it is only five minutes away from Rumble, so very convenient. What do you think hurts the most for you from the class? My arms. Your arms? See, I have like average strength arms, so like my arms feel like, you know, they'll be a little bit sore, but they're fine. I have no core strength. Like I just never like to work out my core. I always focus on my legs and like a little bit on my arms. So I have like really muscular legs. My legs aren't gonna hurt at all. But my freaking core in that ab segment is on fire, like still. And we've been done with the class for like 30 minutes. I can't tell if my heart just hurts or if my ab. <laughs> supposed to get the red velvet smoothie at creation. I hope it's good. I love anything red velvet. Dang it, I didn't bring my metal straw. I bought it at Whole Foods yesterday for nothing. So this is the red velvet smoothie. It is beautiful. It looks delicious. I love anything pink. So uh, let's give it a try. Oh my gosh. How is this a smoothie? This literally tastes like a milkshake. It is so delicious. Carly, you have to try it. Right? I know. Oh my gosh. This is so good. I mean, it was crazy expensive. What's even in this? Almond milk, yogurt, raspberries, vanilla extract, and frozen banana. This is amazing. I am just gonna relish every little sip of this. Thank you for that recommendation, Remy. So we're just gonna sit out here near the street in WeHo, enjoying our smoothies. Perfect little refresher after the Rumble class. And then I think we're just gonna walk around, enjoy LA, and then we will be heading over to lunch. So LA has been fun. I bought these sunglasses, very LA. We went to Alfred's Coffee. Carly saw a Dolan twin while we were there. I got a blowout. It was great. And honestly, I feel really, really good. I feel like those overnight oats this morning really powered me through that rumble workout. And then after, I was like pumped up with all the endorphins, but pretty tired. And then that smoothie just like energized me. And it was really, really filling. Like I didn't get hungry nearly as early as I thought. So we actually pushed back lunch quite a bit. So now we are going to lunch at Cafe Gratitude in Beverly Hills. So this is a place you always hear about like celebrities going and YouTubers going. It's like healthy, fresh vegan food, which makes me really excited because I love vegan food. And it's all about like positivity and affirmations, which is really cool. A big place in LA is called Cafe Gratitude and their menu is especially annoying because everything is a positive adjective. So you have to order saying, I am grateful. Say like, what are you tonight? And, and I'm like, bitch, stone. And when you order, instead of saying like, hey, I'll take a veggie burger, you have to look the waiter in the eyes and say, I am thriving. And then the waiter looks you back in the eyes and like affirms you and says, you are thriving. I don't know, it seems like a cool idea, but the most LA like granola thing, I'm kind of into it though. <laughs> So excited. These are yams with the tahini sauce. Our little hummus plate was delicious and pretty filling. Let's give this a try. <laughs> I am comforted. It's so funny. I literally was saying that I didn't think the sweet potatoes were gonna be that filling, and here I am uh, done full with like half of it left still. I feel 
like healthy LA food is always more filling than I expect it to be. Like everything tastes so good and is so filling, but it also makes me feel really good. Like, you know, I can feel full after eating pizza, but I don't feel the best. I feel full and like totally satisfied, but also like really energized, really healthy, really fresh, really light. Ugh, I thought I was gonna be like kind of annoyed with like the trendy LA foods by the end of the day, but like I love this. I wish I lived here so I could eat this every day, but then you do have to deal with the traffic and the parking and the everything else, so. Also, I have been drinking a ton of water today. Like, my big water bottle that I bring with me everywhere is 64 ounces, and I finished that around two o'clock and then refilled it. I'm like halfway through that, and I've been drinking water at the restaurant, so I think being this hydrated has also been a big part of me feeling so good and so energized and also like feeling fuller longer. Man, I always forget how important drinking water is. Like, I just, Oh, I feel so much better when I remember to drink enough water. The only downside to drinking all this water is I have peed probably like 15, 20 times today. Like at Cafe Gratitude alone, I went to the bathroom three times to go pee. I'm not complaining though, because like I said, I feel very, very good, very hydrated. Also TMI, I don't know if it's like the food or anything, but um, I have pooped four times today. I'm usually like a one and done in the morning kind of girl, but this LA diet is uh, cleaning me out. <laughs> and again, TMI, but like, they're healthy. It's not like a, a Taco Bell kind of bathroom run. It's like a, a feeling cleansed, feeling light, uh, eating a lot of fruit and vegetables kind of bathroom run. Like I feel great, honestly. I'm like really, really digging this like LA meal plan. Also, I forgot to say earlier, but my Alfred coffee was $5.26 and our Cafe Gratitude was $50.25. Okay, so we have been back at the Airbnb for a while now. I put on this cozy little Fabletics outfit. This is the recovery outfit from their September collection. We've got the Stacy pullover in white with this cute little goals embroidery on the top. And the high-waisted printed power hold 7 8 leggings in the real teal camo print. So we got back at like 5.45. I put this on and then I was like, okay, I'm gonna sit down, do some work, and when I get hungry, I'll cook dinner. And it is now 8.46 and I am just getting hungry. So I'm still gonna cook dinner because I already planned it and already bought all the ingredients, but I'll probably just eat a little bit tonight and then have leftovers tomorrow. Into the kitchen for my dinner, I am gonna be cooking something that My Life is Ava made in her What I Eat in a Day video. So for dinner, I usually do a variety of like a few different things. Pretty much every night for dinner when I cook, it consists of vegetables, some sort of starch or some sort of carb. Lots of carbs, we love the carbs. And then some form of protein and the protein is usually black beans. I love black beans, black beans are so freaking good. They taste like heaven on earth. Quinoa, this is boil in a bag quinoa. I'm probably, you know, it's probably not the healthiest. You can get it at your local grocery store, the boil in a bags, 10 minutes. I like it. Don't judge me. I don't care. So I've just finished my quinoa, black beans, and broccoli bowl. For this, I'm gonna add cumin, of course, a ton of black pepper, and then oregano. So good. Pretty simple. I like that she keeps it easy and broccoli, quinoa, and black beans are all things that I like. So I'm excited. Let's cook. I'm just mixing this up for the last time after putting the spices in. This looks like very healthy. This is like very straightforward, straight to the point. Not much to it, but like I said, all things I like. So it's a little hot still, but let's give it a try. That's actually really good. Mm. 
think I need a little more salt and pepper. Obviously, it's very like pure, simple, clean, straight to the point. But it also only took me like 10 minutes total, start to finish, to cook. And that's my kind of dinner. So I feel like I actually, I might make a variation of this at home. I feel like I don't cook with black beans enough. I really like the taste of them in this. All right, I'm gonna sit down, eat a little bit more of this, and then I'll put the rest in the fridge for tomorrow. I've had such a good day. Like this was so much fun. I loved the food, I loved the workouts, and I actually had a lot of fun in LA, which is weird for me because I've never gotten the hype about LA. Like I've just never been an LA person, but I think it's because I've never just like come and enjoyed the city like a local, gone to all the fun little spots, had a chill day like we did today. I'm always like driving from every single corner of LA for like meetings and filming and just going nonstop. And today we just like stayed mostly in West Hollywood. I never had to get on the freeway. We did a lot of walking, only a little bit of driving. And WeHo is just like a cute, fun, chill little area. I feel like I usually think of LA as being like kind of uppity and snooty. But like every single place we went today, people were so nice. I feel like it put me in such a good mood. I kind of see why so many YouTubers move to LA now. Like other than the business aspect, it's like fun and cute. And there are lots of cool things to do and film and places to go. I had a really fun day. And I also felt really good with like the LA LA YouTubery foods and the workout that I did. And of course, I felt cute in all my Fabletics clothes. A big thank you to Fabletics for sponsoring this video. Check them out, there is a link in the description. All the pieces that I wore in today's video are from their September collection. Super cute, super flattering, and a ton of variety so you can find something that is perfect for your body and your lifestyle. And remember, if you sign up as a VIP using my link in the description, you can get your first two pairs of leggings for just $24. If you're new to Fabletics, Athletics. Hi, hello, welcome to the club. You'll start by buying one pair of leggings and then you'll never look back. That's what happened to me. <laughs> but for real, if you are new, a few of my favorite pieces that you might wanna check out. The high-waisted power hold leggings. I went off about these earlier. They are the best and there are so many different varieties. Like you can get printed or solid, seven eighths or full length. The Mila pocket capri leggings. These are actually made with that same power hold fabric but they have that fun little pocket on the side. Anything in the pure luxe fabric, it is like so so soft, so buttery smooth. These are like my everyday leggings. I actually wore the pair that I have five days in a row last week and I was like, Okay, Sierra, enough is enough. You need to order another pair. So I did, can't recommend them enough. And all their sports bras are just amazing. Like I wear the low impact ones kind of around the house as athleisure, the medium impact for most of my everyday gym workouts, and then the high impact for like running or cardio. I could go on and on, but I'll stop now. I really am just so honored and so excited to be a Fabletics ambassador. And I hope you guys are excited for me too. Not only am I clearly a major fangirl about other products, but I really love the message that they stand for and how empowering they are to women and how size inclusive they are. I'm just really happy to be a part of their brand. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Okay, Sierra from the future here real quick. It is the next day and we are at Sweet Green, which is another like trendy, healthy LA food spot. I have this delicious looking salad here. But I just realized when I was filming like the wrap up of everything yesterday in the Airbnb, I forgot to mention like the total cost of eating and working out like an LA YouTuber for a day. So all the food and the rumble class totaled to $221.80. Then adding in the cost of parking everywhere brings it to $271.30. And then our Airbnb was $410 per night, which we really only needed to stay there for one night to film this video. So that would bring the total to $681.30. But we actually did stay two nights because we are filming another video today, the next day. So the total I actually spent was $1,091 dollars and 30 cents to eat and work out like an LA YouTuber. That is so expensive. Even if you don't take into account the Airbnb, it's almost $300. Like that's a crazy lifestyle. It was fun for a day, but uh, I don't think I could stomach paying that much to live like that every day. <laughs> now back to the Airbnb for the rest of the wrap up. If you haven't seen the video that I did where I ate and worked out like Kim Kardashian for a day, you can click that card right up there or the link in the description. Be confident, love your body, and I will see you guys on Friday with another new video. Bye!